Welcome back to the second episode of Why with the Talk Show with BMC. My name is Regina Mtemwa. Last week we were talking about diabetes and we are happy with your responses. Most of you came for screening. Um, today we are joined once again by Dr. Zambezi and we are going to be talking about the new COVID variant. So Dr. Zambezi, we are hearing rumors about the new wave, about the new COVID variant. Can you tell us what it is? Yes, there is actually a new COVID uh, coronavirus variant which has been detected in our neighboring countries, uh, South Africa, Botswana and other nations. So this is a highly mutated uh, coronavirus uh, variant which is also known as B11529 and it has been defined, it has been classified by the World uh, Health Organization as a variant of concern. So that's the, the new variant. It's called Omicron or B11529. Okay. Yes. Alright, um, so we all know that uh, the previous variants mainly were affecting the old ages and those with chronic um, diseases. Can you tell us who's at least now? Okay, so ever I said from my, uh, when I defined, when I explained what it is, um, this variant is highly mutated. What, I, what do I mean by saying highly mutated? It means it has many changes. Viruses in general have a tendency of, of changing their structure when they multiply. So this one is uh, about 30 mutations on the spike protein. Maybe double the, the, the amount of mutations which were on the previous, on the previous um, variant. So this one is highly uh, mutated. A, a variant. So, in terms of uh, who is at risk or who is at risk of, of being affected with uh, this virus, this is it's still new. Uh, it has been discovered or it has been reported to the World Health Organization, uh, I think, a week ago. So, information is still coming. But uh, the, the information which we have now is. Uh, this virus is affecting the young uh, age group, age groups, the 20s, 30s, different from the previous uh, uh, variants, especially the, the one of the first wave, which was affecting mainly the adults and the, those at risk. But this one is, it seems to be affecting even the, the young age group, according to the reports from the uh, nations where the variant has been detected. Alright, so um, what are the signs and symptoms of uh, this Omicron and how, how long does it take before it starts showing? Okay, so the signs and symptoms of this um, a variant are a bit different from the ones which we were used to. Initially when, uh, when, when coronavirus started, we used to know that there is cough, dry cough, uh, there is uh, chest pain, shortness of breath, respiratory symptoms. That's what we were used to, flu-like symptoms. So, but now, it seems because of these mutations, because of these vari uh, changes which are happening in, this, uh, in, in the virus, the presentation also is changing. Like from the reported uh, cases, uh, mainly the main symptoms were headaches, in body aches and uh, extreme tiredness. So these were the symptoms which has been reported uh, thus far. So, and also since you, you, you asked that uh, how long does it take before the symptoms show, this is still, uh, the studies are still being done to, to, to determine all these, uh, like the incubation period and so forth. So this is still a new a, a variant which is still under 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 investigation. So as we move on, I think we will have more information on the incubation period, whether it is the same with the previous ones or maybe it's faster. It's still to be to be determined. This is getting scary now. So how dangerous and how transmissible is it? Okay, so like I said, this has been classified as a variant of concern, 
various variant of concern by the World Health Organization. What does it mean? A variant of concern, it means that a uh, particular variant is highly transmissible. It means it's highly transmissible and very virulent. It affects faster than, than the previous ones. So, though information is still being gathered, though it's not yet clear, but there are possibilities that this, this particular variant is highly transmissible. So, it's not to scare anyone, but it's for people to, to prepare, to get prepared, to know what are we dealing with, to know the measures to put so that we fight this uh, variant, this fourth wave together. Okay. So what, what do we have to do to prevent ourselves from getting this Omicron? As, as usual, as, as, as the Minister of Health and Child Care has always been saying that you need, to, you need to wash your hands, you need to sanitize, you need to maintain social distance, you need to wear your masks, and most importantly, you need to get vaccinated. We have seen that from previous variants like the Delta one, those who were vaccinated had mild symptoms as compared to those who were not vaccinated. So you should get vaccinated it, so, so that we, the, the symptoms are not as severe when you are uh, infected. Because oh, although uh, researches are, being, are still being done, like I said, this is, still a new, a new, this is a new thing which has just come. So researches will be done maybe on the modification of the vaccines and so forth so that they are more effective on, the, on this particular variant. But vaccination will help you to fight, uh, to reduce the, the severity of the disease. So you should, one should get vaccinated. Okay, um, so as, as Belvedere the Medical Center, what measures do you have in place to fight um, this, COVID, this COVID new variant? Okay. So, as a, as, a, as a hospital, as a center, as a health facility, we have put uh, measures to be able to, to help in the fighting of this, um, in, of this, of, of this uh, new variant, complementing the, the efforts of the Ministry of Health. So, we are running a vaccination program, like currently we have a new vaccine called Sputnik, so we are running that vaccination program. So that's the first thing we are doing as a center. We are vaccinating so that we fight this um, this, uh, this this new, new new variant. Also, we have testing facilities in, in place. We are doing the antigen test, the PCR test. We also do education even to corporates, to companies, to educate them on the best way of fighting this this COVID nineteen. We have also our a hospital facility whereby we will be admitting uh, COVID-19 uh, affected patients. So we have put everything in place so that we are ready to fight this, 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 this variant. And lastly, we also have our, um, we, since when this, uh, from, from the previous uh, waves, we know that during this time there will be lockdown, people will not be able to move. So in place, we have uh, our facility called Dali Dog. So, in fact, let's say you are at home, you are experiencing these symptoms, you can just dial a dog, then you can get consultation over the phone because there will be, there will be restrictions of movements. We also have a, an ambulance facility in case maybe you want a doctor at home, you want to be carried. So we have put almost everything in place so that we complement the efforts of the Ministry of Health, the, the efforts of the government to fight this wave. Okay. We have come to the end of our talk show. We encourage you to stay safe during this pandemic, maintain your social distance, wear your mask, and also seek medical attention whenever you feel any of these symptoms that Dr. Zambia mentioned.